Hi there guys, welcome back. If you have just watched my previous video and you noticed lots of really strange noises, they were all being caused by this little boy who was desperate to get on my lap. This is Colin. So throughout this video, Colin's going to be sitting on my lap and uh, if you hear any strange noises, it's not my belly, it's just this little boy grumbling. So he's going to be sat right there. And I said in the last video that um, this next one is going to be about quantum jumping or uh, by location. I'm not really sure what the explanation is. It could be uh, uh, being able to create a thought form that's so strong someone else perceives it, a doppelganger, uh, seeing parallel universes, who knows. But I'll explain what happened to you because this is really interesting. I did say this happened quite recently, but it didn't. It was about 11 years ago, and the only reason I know that, um, this happened when I used to work for Domino's Pizza. I was a manager for Domino's Pizza in the Neaton branch, and uh, I left there more than 10 years ago, so this must have happened at least 11 years ago. As well as being a manager of the shop, I also lived directly opposite the shop. There used to be a pub in the Neaton called the Half Moon, and it got turned into a shoe shop called Bansall Shoes, and the upstairs got turned into five flats, and I lived in one of those flats. At the time, I lived in one flat, a couple of them were empty, there was a guy who had um, bleach blonde dreadlocks who lived in one of the other flats, and there were a couple of women that lived in, uh, in the other flats. So there was me, a few women, and a guy with big long dreadlocks. So none of those people looked anything like me. Now, my front door to the flat was directly opposite the front door of Domino's. The entire front of Domino's was a big glass window. So when this happened, it was around about 10 to 4 in the afternoon. I was due to start work at 4 o'clock, uh, but I needed some money. And I was trying to decide whether or not to pop to the cash point, which is just a few doors down, get some money before work, or to wait until I get to work, uh, take some money out of the till, and then pay it back later. Now, I was the night shift manager. The day shift manager was in the shop, the shop was pretty empty, and he was leaning on the counter watching the people walking up and down the street. And uh, I decided that it was a bit too late, uh, I was running a bit late, and I decided I hadn't really got time to go to the cash point, even though I'd imagined the journey. Uh, it would have only taken me a few seconds, but I decided just to take some money out of the till and pay back later. So I pop over to work at just before four o'clock. When I get there, the day shift manager, a guy called Rich, um, he tells me that he'd just seen me go to the cash point. So I was like, I haven't been to the cash point. He said, you did. He said, I saw you about five minutes ago. Leave your flat. I saw you go to the cash point, and I saw you come back and go into your flat. Now, there's no one in my flat that looked like me. And also, in order for someone to come out and go back in, they'd need a key. Uh, so the person that he saw must have had a key to those flats. And... It's only directly across the street, and Richard's got decent eyesight. He would recognise me if he saw me come out the flat and go to the cash point and come back. So he swears blind that he saw me do that, and I know that I didn't do it. So there could be a few explanations to this. Either I've got some, someone who looks just like me, who happened to come out of my flat, go to the cash point and go back in my flat, which is not very likely. Uh, maybe the... Um, I was thinking of doing exactly what he saw, so maybe I sent a thought form out that actually did that action, and he was able to perceive that while he was sitting there, bored in the shop, just watching people idly go by. Maybe, uh, because I had the decision that I was going to do it, and I chose not to do it, a parallel universe was created where I did do it, and he was able to tune into that one. Who knows? There could be many, many explanations to what happened, and all of them, to me, are really, really interesting. So, Rich saw me leave the flat. And he swears it was me. Not just someone who looks like me, but me. And nobody who looks like me would go in or out of that flat. He saw me go to the cash point, he saw me go back. And that is exactly what I was thinking of doing at exactly that time. So, really, really interesting little experience there. Um, which, to me, to me, I, I kind of favour the idea of bilocation or um, me creating a thought form by thinking about doing something and, and uh, Richard being able to pick up on that thought form. Um, bearing in mind that... Rich would have been bored, uh, is probably leaning on the counter and watching the people go backwards and forwards up and down the street, which is what he always did. Uh, the day shifts used to be really, really quiet, so he probably wasn't doing much work. Um, so he would have been in a very receptive state of mind. But I thought I'd share that one with you because it's a really interesting little experience. I am going to unload, upload another video after this one uh, about another interesting experience that, again, this happened uh, with myself uh, at the flat and it was Rich working at Domino's across the street and a really interesting little psychic connection between us both. So I'll be uploading that one in a moment. Uh, you take care and have a wonderful day. Bye.